I got roasted, actually, without me being there on this case by one of my trauma colleagues for fixing the syndesmosis without more evidence of instability in this case. I personally, especially with flexible fixation, have a very low threshold in this particular case to go ahead and fix the syndesmosis because I'd much rather maybe be a little bit over aggressive. But I think there's subtle signs of instability. There's anterior posterior. Sometimes you don't ever see that on a radiograph. But in this case, I know that there's enough findings to suggest there's syndesmotic instability and fixing the posterior mal may not be enough because that's another case for stabilization of syndesmosis is fixing the posterior mal. But what are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I don't believe that just fixing the posterior mal will get you, you know, negate any reason not to fix the syndesmosis. I know that was, I think that was often like, that's kind of like sometimes a misconception or misinformation. I think it can help add stability to your syndesmosis, but your syndesmosis, like you mentioned, you could still have anterior instability, right? And I, I'm with you. If there's any subtle signs of instability on exam and so forth, I'm much more likely to put syndesmotic fixation, especially flexible syndesmotic fixation. I see little downside. 